How you doing? Craig and Mabello again. Another wonderful New England, New Hampshire day. You know, one moment it's 90 degrees, you can't breathe, the sun's out. You know, you wait a half hour and it's pouring rain and it's 50. But hey, you know, that's that's New Hampshire, that's New England. You know, the, the founders of our country, the Puritans, came here. Those sick, twisted fucks. You can blame it on the Puritans. But that's a whole nother blog. I got another call from another lawyer, or I should say another law firm. Most of the time they're just rude, arrogant, pushy assholes. I'm telling you, politicians and lawyers and religious people, they're all like the same. They all just, you know, you can never pinpoint them on anything. They say sentences that go around in circles and circles. Find out what the deal is. Hello, sneaking out. Can I help you? How you doing, Lewis? This is Craig Imabella. You called me earlier. Yeah, I'm calling a lot of people. We can't remember who we called half the time. I get so many people calling me. I owe so much money to so many different people. It's yeah. just my head spinning. Yeah, well, it shows on your credit report that you're self-employed. What were you doing before? I was doing video production, and unfortunately, you know, in Hollywood, you can make money doing professional stuff. Out in the boondocks in New Hampshire, I can't make a penny doing anything. Can't even get weddings. Oh, you're in California doing it before? Yeah, for 12 years in Hollywood. You know, doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, professional things for the Los Angeles Police Department, all the way down to doing, you know, porn. You know, you, <laughs> it's an honest way to make a buck, and I was making, you know, all right money, but... What were you doing? Were you were a guy taping it? I was the director, the shooter, the editor, it's still photographer, the guy that did everything but have fun. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's a good deal. Yeah, you got a $16,000 balance, thing is, I mean, yeah, it hasn't been paid in a while. So we need something to get taken care of on this one. I mean, what can you do? Are you on SSI or something here? Yeah, that's the problem. I'm living at home with my mother and father, and if it wasn't for them, I'd be literally homeless. We're taking the huge loss on this just to call it a day and get this over with, and you don't have to deal with this one when you come up with $5,000. No, know, Lewis, I understand it sounds like a spectacular offer. Shit out of luck to get money from anybody. You're mad that I owe you money. Everyone that knows me is pretty much sick of me too, and they've been supporting me for years now. I, if I get a job and get some money, then I can do something. I mean, I went to court last month for another case, and the judge, he told me to pay $20 a month for the next 55 years. Uh, that's $20 a month for the next 55 years, that's wow. So it's a little wacky. Hold on, let me give you a manager, and he can talk to you and explain a little bit better what they could possibly work out with you. Uh, what we're willing to do is settle out your account here uh, for $5,000. That sounds fantastic. And like I told Lewis and the other guys, I just have no ways or means to pay it. Right. I mean, it looks like you are an authorized user on one of the cards. You can ask your mom if you can use a card. I can't use that credit card. It's not my credit card. Okay. Well, why don't you give it a shot? Yeah, but you don't understand, Dominic. If, if I charge on that credit card, they'll kick me out. I'll have to go back to Hollywood, start shooting porn all over again, and they're going to have to climb my way back up the bottom of the ladder of the sewer hole in Hollywood, and I don't want to really do that right now. All right, I understand. All right, so now what, what are you, are you, you're into directing, or what, what do you do? Yeah, I was a director. I, for 12 years, I shot, directed, you know, did lighting, did editing, still photography for many different, you know, legitimate businesses. And it's, it's, a, it's just a bitch to get work out here because it's just not that kind of a market out here. I mean, these guys are pushy, pushy, pushy. It's easy for them to say, oh, yeah, ask a friend, ask a family member, ask somebody. They can keep knocking the number down, 15, 13, 10, 8, 5,000. Jesus, if I had fucking $200, it would be a miracle. But who the fuck's got $5,000 in their back pocket? Oh, yeah, get a friend, whack it on a credit card. You know, they're just born shucksters. They're born salesmen. They're just... They're just like shocks, you know, I don't want to end up back in Hollywood broke. But then again, Hollywood's looking a lot better than friggin' Windham, New Hampshire. <sighs>